So today was an introduction to ice carving with our William Floyd CTE culinary students where they learned an introduction to ice carving techniques, uh, the tools, and the safety that goes along with it. I went to culinary school back in the 90s with Johnson Wales and been cooking ever since. Yeah, as a sophomore at Johnson Wales, you have to complete an ice sculpture for a buffet and it was, it's kind of like one of those days you just look forward to going to school and my group, we did an eagle and I've been hooked on it ever since. I picture things in my head and hopefully it comes out, you know, so I try to do stick figures and clip art works for me. You know, the internet is a big tool for ice carvers like myself who cannot draw, uh, where we can get a rough silhouette of the carving that we're going to do, but the rest, all the three-dimensional figures come from the left side of the brain. Uh, from December through March, I travel the country uh, competing uh, at, at the highest level through the National Ice Carving Association. Um, you know, I'm in every different state pretty much on every single weekend when I'm away from William Floyd. And this year, well, last year I should say, I was the national speed carving champion. I'm the current reigning national speed carving champion in gold medals in the multi-block pieces. In October, I am attempting to become the world's fastest carver by carving 71 or 75 uh, 300 pound carvings in four hours or less. The current world record is 61 in three and a half hours or less. It was actually really good. He always says about ice carving and stuff, but I never actually saw him do it, so now that I've seen it, it's impressive. Some of them are really intense. Uh, I don't even know how he has the guts to do them, use them. It's pretty crazy. Well, it was amazing watching it, because you never see it up close. You always see pictures, but getting an up-close view of hard work, it's good. It's cool. It's <laughs> so much fun. Dangerous, but it's fun. It looks fun. Culinary, it's like, it's a way to express yourself. You can express yourself through food, designing, plates is amazing. That's my favorite part of it. Culinary is just like everything. I love it. Well, I mean, we all want the same thing. So it's, you know, we all help around. A little scuffle every now and then. But everybody just, everybody gets them all. It's fun. So everybody helps each other out. It's like a little family down here. Well, culinary can take you anywhere. Whether it's teaching, whether it's in the restaurant business, whether you are the cook, the chef or in the front of the house serving, uh, culinary really can take you anywhere. It took me into a freezer and I haven't looked back.